Richie Peterson's going to show the white flag. Signal to the drivers. They'll go green next time around. Lights are off on the pace truck. As they make their way down here onto the front stretch, four of these 20 cars will directly transfer into the main event. Two of them, the top two across the line, will redraw. They will be in the redraw for the main event. Here's Rob Lanfear, a little late to the party. He'll have to tack on to the tail as they get ready to go green. It's going to be Connor Cleveland bringing him down to the green. Richie Peterson, emerald silk in hand, ready to let him go. Green is out. We're underway. Down the front stretch they come to turn number one. 15 laps the distance. Four cars qualify. Contact on the back straightaway. Kenny Conroy and Timmy Hartman come together. Conroy goes around down in turn number three. Hartman recovered. Yellow is going to come out. Yellow is out on the speedway. Conroy up off the racing surface down in turn number three. Got up a little wide off of turn number two. Carried Hartman high off of turn number two. Hartman recovered before uh, he made his way back down into turn number three. One lap is scored on the Adirondack tire lap counter. Mangino, GMC Buick, sponsored number nine car of Hunter Bates now down on the inside. While Connor Cleveland with the Cleveland Brothers Landscape, Dean's Electric sponsored number 09 up on the outside. Nick Lucier on the inside of row number two. He's got Joey Scarborough back there with him as we get ready to go back to green. Green is out. Down to turn number one, they go. It'll be Bates showing the way as they work their way up off of turn number two. Down the back straightaway they run, riding back there in second. That's Connor Cleveland. Third spot is Nick Luce here. And then a side-by-side -side battle. Back there for fourth is Jack Gentile. We'll take that spot away from Joey Scarborough. Gentile goes to four. Scarborough going to backslide to six now as they work their way up off of turn number two. Down the back straight away they run there into turn number three. Steve Apps, the man on the move. The 85 machine, as he is just outside of a transfer spot right now, he rides in fifth spot. Joey Scarborough in sixth. Chris Schaefer back there in seventh spot as they work their way through three and four. Eighth position will be the 73 of Kevin Chaffee. Then the 15 of Adam Pearson rides in ninth, rounding out your running your top 10 right now running order. That is going to be the 1Z of Mike Soul. Here's the 85 getting racy on the outside. Steve App. He will dispose of. And we got one out of shape. That's the 20th Gentile, and Gentile goes for the wild ride. Jack Gentile catches the inside berm there and eventually the implement tire. He will come to rest well inside the racing surface so we remain under green. Six laps are in up on the front, Hunter Bates bringing him down off of turn number four. Bates making the way down here into turn number three, coming up on the halfway sign here in this 15-lap main event, halfway home here for Hunter Bates. Bates up on the point, the 09 of Cleveland rides second, third is Luce here, fourth spot now Scarborough. Those are the four transfer spots. The 85 of Steve App, one out of a direct transfer, and now he's gonna feel pressure as Chris Schaefer starts to close on him. Schaefer looking down to the inside of Ab. That'll be a side-by-side -side battle for fifth as they come down here to turn number one. We got yellow out on the speedway. Yellow lights are on. So yellow lights out on the speedway. Here with nine laps shown complete. campaigner uh, actually ran a limited schedule this year but despite the uh, fact he did not run every race 
He did pick up a pair of wins here in 2015. The Gentile over there on the, just off the inside of the back straightaway. While the field sits idle up here between turns one and two. Hunter Bates up on the uh, front here as uh, he is on the inside of that line up on the back straightaway. Up on the outside of him, Connor Cleveland. Taking a look at the way the schedule does read uh, after these qualifying events for the sports, we're going to bring street stock heat races up. Heat races for the uh, starting grid for the Melts Lumber sponsored 30 lap event here tonight. We'll have street stock qualifiers coming up after the sportsman qualifiers. Then we'll come back with last chance qualifiers for the sportsman division. The CRSA Sprint Car A Main will follow it. That's a 25 lap main event. After the A Main for the Sprint Cars. And our finale on the evening is the Melts Lumber 30 lap main event for the Street Stocks. So that's what we've got coming at us here. Right now we are under red flag conditions for Jack Gentile over off the back side of the infield area. Um, New Hampshire Motor Speedway that is going to be five additional prizes, five pair of tickets for the NASCAR Sprint Cup event coming up here uh, later on this month in September. They enjoy that. Uh, the youngsters enjoy that. I'm not so sure the neighbors know what the heck is going on once they fill the speedway a little bit later on. They'll think it's the next, uh, next air raid making its way. But that'll be coming up a little bit later right now. we got to go back to green. Qualifier number one here for the sportsman. Standing on the gas off of turn number four. That's the number nine car of Hunter Bates. Bates down here in the turn number one, working up off of turn number two with the lead. Connor Cleveland, Ryan second. Nikki Lucier back there third. Joey Scarborough rounding out your top five. Then things start to get side by side back behind them. One car up on the outside, that's Chris Schaefer working the outside of Adam Pearson. They race back there for the sixth spot as they work their way down the back straightaway. Here's Tim Hartman Jr. now down to the inside of Schaefer. Hartman on the inside, Schaefer on the outside, side by side. They run off the corner. Down here into turn number one, Adam Pearson and the 85 of Steve App going at it for position. Pearson will crack the top five for the first time. Adam Pearson picked up the DMA USAC Midget main event here just a couple of weeks ago and right now finds himself one spot out of a direct transfer position. Down into turn number three goes Hunter Bates. We got one card a little wide up here in turn two. That's Mike Block in the deuce. He's going to drop back to the tail of the field now as the 40, the racing roofer's son as a matter of fact, going to make his way by him. That's Bobby Schmidt. Hartman working down to the inside of App now. That'll be a race for position number six. Hartman on the inside, App on the outside. Jamike Soul parked right there behind them. Now App flows up to the outside of the raceway, opens the inside up for Chris Schaefer. Hang on, App out of shape up off of turn number two. He is off the pace. I think something might have just broken the drive line of that number 85 car. The way the car twitched up off the corner, we'll see as down into turn number three, the nine of Bates will hear the call for yellow. Yellow is out. That is called checkers, excuse me, checkers out with 15 laps on the board. 
So that is the way they will finish. Hunter Bates will pick up the win. Connor Cleveland finishes second. Third spot goes to Nick Lucier. Fourth spot goes to Joey Scarborough. He'll round out your qualified cars. While rounding out your top five is the 15 of Adam Pearson. So 15 laps the distance. I'll uh, straighten that back out. And Santa Barbara. The 07 of Jack Swinton will start ninth. 10th will be Jeremy Pitts, 11th. The 5 of Tyler Johnson, 12th. Scott Bennett Jr. in the 1. Diana Hike, 13th in the 99. Mike Ostrander, 14th in the 62. Greg McCloskey, 16th in the 555. Matt Hitchcock, Mike Coffey Jr., Skip Shippey, Matt Atwood, and in the 54H, Curtis Hohenschild out there on the speedway as they bring it off by turn number 3 and 4. Green flag is out on the speedway. Chris Davis, the 1J of Rocky Warner, as car goes around in turn number two. That is Nick Hotailing. As a number of cars get together, and as that was happening, I was beginning to say the three cars out there on the racetrack towards the end are just taking a few laps on the speedway. Meanwhile, 84 of Ricky Quick and the 7J of Dan Santa Barbara hooked together up in turn number three. Is Atwood going to drive away from the original incident as McCloskey and Hotailing stuck up there in turn number two? The front end on the 61 of hoteling broke as he went up the racetrack, and that is the initial cause for the incident. In race winners, Jack Gentile has two, Jeremiah Munson one, C.B. Elms has one, Dan Peckham with one, Bodie Bellinger, Mike Tholen, Mike Ketchum, Phil Recchio, Kenny Boniface, Chip Constantino, Chuck Allen, Brian Pesolano. 23 points behind Rocky Warner going into tonight's racing action. Again, this... Northeast Ray Nationals race five of the King of Dirt series here in the 2015 season as the 79 of Dave Constantino going to look to refire off a turn number three and four. We go back to green flag racing here with 15 still remaining. Up through turn number one and two, Michael Sabia going to make a bid to the inside for the number two spot as Gray shoots up the back and cars together as they head down the back straightaway, and Jeremy Pitts already up into the number four spot. He makes his way to a transfer position all the way back from starting spot. Number 10 in this one as Dave Constantino leads him down the back straightaway. Constantino, your race leader. Michael Sabia, who has a feature event victory down at the Lebanon Valley Speedway on this series, sits in the number two spot. Mike Tholen going to come right in on him, and Jeremy Pitts sits there in spot number four as the top four looking to break away from the field. And although the 24 and 27 are comfortably in a race right now, they want that redraw position to get a shot at starting into the top 12. And Tholen now going to wind it up on the top side, looking to take a spot away from Sabia. Sabia going to duck back to the inside. Here's Tholen up top again. He's going to move to the high side now and shut the door. And that leaves open Jeremy Pitts as they come down the back stretch. Pitts will dive in and they go side by side through turn number three and four. Almost three wide off the corner. And Sabia doing a great job holding on. But here's Tholen now for the bid for the number two spot. Mike Tholen rolling up on the top side that time. He'll take the number two spot away. And here comes Pitts. Ducking underneath the seven of Sabia as they come through turn number three and four. The three wide off the corner as they bring it off by turn number four. Now Tholen going to look to make a bid on Constantino here at the one-third mark. Up through turn number one and two. Mike Tholen with some momentum on the top side. Going to drive right around Dave Constantino for the number one spot. Constantino going to look to battle back off the corner, but it will go to roll with Mike Tholen. Tholen with a great ride here off the corner. Corner up into turn number one and two, coming from his third starting position to take the race lead away as they make their way down the back straightaway and into turn number three and four. Tholen continues to wind it up here as seven go down to the books. We'll be halfway next time by eight will be in. Only seven remaining is now Brian Pesolano slowly creeping up on the seven of Michael Sabia for the final transfer spot as they head down the back straightaway. Halfway sign out from Richie Peterson is now the pressure is on as Dave Constantino is feeling the Grennan Project services. Car number 27 of Jeremy Pitts, who's been the hottest driver the last two weeks here at the Speedway, finishing off the season with two feature event wins. And he's looking for a qualifying win here or to get into the redraw as he sits behind the 79 of Constantino. 
Battle for the number six spot right behind them is former Nationals winner in 2008, the old seven of Jack Swinton. Going to drop to the top side to get by the double zero of Jason Gray down the back straight away. But as we move towards the front here at the two-thirds work, Ten goes in the books, but Greg McCloskey going to slow off a turn number two, and that's going to bring Yellow out with a five-lap shootout here in heat race number two. So Yellow coming out on the speedway for the 555 of Greg McCloskey, who slowed in turn number two. He's going to pull it right into the infield. Looks like a right rear and I definitely say that's flat with a little bit of damage on the side as well. On the 555 machine as he's going to have to pull at pit side. We'll see if he can make it back out for the Constellation events here late. together in turn number three as Santa Barbara gets tagged in the 99 a hike gonna go around as they take the green flag I gotta imagine this will quickly go back to yellow and that will be the case as hike sits over on the outskirts of turn number four will fire off a turn number three and four. We go back to green flag racing once again. It's now Mike Dolan going to bring him up into turn number one and two. That time, Constantino pushes. That allows Jeremy Pitts to dive under and take the number two spot away. Down the back stretch, they ride through turn number three and four. Bowen holding on to this one. Here's, there's only going to be four laps to go this time as they come across the line. 11 in, four remain. Now as Constantino feeling pressure from Michael Sabia behind him as well. But meanwhile, Mike Tholen may want to watch behind him because here comes the Grennan Project Services, car number 27 of Jeremy Pitts. Constantino has something wrong on that West End towing car number 79 machine as he dies back a couple more positions. May have a tire going down here with just three to go. Back up towards the front, however, pits to the inside, looking to take the race lead away. He'll slide in front off a of turn number four. Jeremy Pitts, your new race leader at the two to go sign. Mike Dolan still holding on to the number two spot as he tries to drive back by him on the top as they'll bring it off at turn number two. But Pitt's going to drive away from him now by about seven car lengths as they head down the back straightaway. Through turn number three and four, they go. White flag out on the speedway. One lap remaining here in this one as they come off at turn number two. Down the back stretch, they ride. Jeremy Pitt's going to bring it through turn number three and four for the final time, and Pitt's will put his name into qualifying heat race glory here in the Northeast Great Nationals. He picks up the win. Second will be rolling Mike Dolan. Third, Michael Sabia. Final transfer spot will go to Brian Pesolano. And Jason Gray will round out your top five here in the second of three qualifiers for the sportsman division. Third and final qualifier going to come out onto the speedway next. And for the call of that one, we will send it back over to my partner, Dan Martin. So qualifier number two for the sportsman now in the books. Another 15 lapper ready to make its way up onto the raceway. This time we'll have 19 stars. Ridge regulars down here. Number 11, he starts inside row three. Outside of him, it's the Greg's Towing and Repair 173 of Cody Blue. Row four, we find Danny Kroc with the K3 on the inside. Kroc will start in the seventh position. Outside of him, we find Pat Jones with the number five. Jones on the outside of row number four with car number five. Row five, it's Justin Combs on the inside with the 51. And outside of Combs is Andrew Buff with the number 98 car. 
Back in row six, we find a 352, a John Proctor. He starts on the inside. Adam Gage, the 21, outside of him. 17 of Jim Morgan and Joe Orlando's number 69 in row seven. Robert Bublack Jr. with the 27B. John Stoll with the 8JS. Rich Ricky Ju third, the third in the 55. Bruce Schwab in the 25 Vermont. And Ryan Stortini with the seven car rounds out your starting order couple of qualified cars, some of the uh, top six qualifiers out on the speedway, that one in John Miller. As we make our way around here up between turns one and two, the 27, working down the back straightaway, that's dangerous Derek McGrew showing the way down to turn number three. McGrew, your leader, Scott Doyle rides second, David Schilling third, four spot is the number nine of Nick Anatrello. Then Cody Blue, one spot out of a top four run. He sits in fifth. Now Josh Sun works the inside of him. Great battle back there for that fifth spot. Sun on the inside, gonna shuffle up in the fifth spot. Cody Blue got high down there between turn three and four. Gonna lose a position as Justin Combs gets by him. They make their way down the back straightaway, and now things starting to sort out here in this one. In the early going, Derek McGrew pulling out to a rather comfortable advantage over the 14 of Scott Bull. Bull riding in second, David Schilling back there third. Four spot is the nine of Nick Anatrello. One car, two cars heading pit side down here. That's the uh, cars that had already qualified. Just out here for some fast laps at the end of the running order. One third mark now has been met, five laps in as we start this second third. Derek McGrew up on the front. Scott Duell riding in second. David Schilling only got a, just about a car length separating himself between the nine car of Nick Anatrello. Schilling trying to draw in on the 14 of Duell, but he's got to watch himself there as Anatrello is within striking distance with the number nine car. Anatrello runs fourth, Josh Sun, one spot out of a transfer, and that time Sun lost a little bit of traction there. Up off of turn number two, that allowed Justin Combs to draw in on him, Cody Blue coming with him. Andrew Buff making the move up to the sportsman division this year from the limited sportsman. He sits just behind that side-by-side -side battle between Cody Blue and Justin Combs. Blue working down to the inside. We got one slowly coming to a stop in turn two. That is the 25 of Bruce Schwab, the 25 Vermont car. As we are just past halfway, we have eight laps now on the board. Schwab gonna be the reason for the caution. By side, restart side-by-side, -side, we should say. Then keep an eye on Josh Sun. Doesn't make his way down here all that much, but every time he comes down, very racy. He's a regular up at the Bear Ridge Speedway up in Bradford, Vermont, up in the uh, northern stretches of the Green Mountain State. Justin Combs with the 51 outside of him. That is going to be your third restarting row. Then it's Cody Blue with the Greg's Towing and Repair sponsored number 173 outside of blue we uh, just made mention he was a limited sportsman driver earlier in the year graduated to the sportsman that's young andrew buff teenage competitor as we get ready to go back to green up here off of turn number four green is out down at turn number one they go Derek mcgrew picking up where he left off we got a pass back there for the final transfer spot one car going around down here in turn two trying to pull away under his own power but yellow lights will come on yellow is out that's jim morgan with the 17 car new restart rules for 2015 here at the track side by side restarts all the way through however once a restart is not completed the second attempt and there, there on will be single file until a green flag lap is logged. And we are back to racing. Down at turn number one they go. Scott Duell trying to hold with the 27 of Derek McGrew. McGrew off at of turn number two down the back straightaway. He is in command down here to turn number three. Here's Duell going up to the top side of the raceway.
As they work their way down here off of turn number four. Nick Anatrello back there in third position. David Schilling back to fourth. Fifth spot, Josh Sun. Then just outside the top five, we find Cody Blue in six, seventh spot. Now is going to be Andrew Buff sliding by Justin Combs. Josh Sun takes a transfer position away from David Schilling now as they work their way down the back straightaway. So Schilling back to fifth. He is one spot out of a direct transfer. That pass was big for Josh Sun. Schilling now looking to come back at him down here to turn number one. Cody Blue coming right along with Schilling. They will now race side by side with 11 laps shown complete. It's Blue on the inside of Schilling. Schilling gets up on the outside, gonna lose that position. As they make their way down here, two turns number one and two, gonna come to the two to go sign next time by. It'll be two laps remaining for Derek McGrew. Up on the front of this one, McGrew looking to bring this one home. Scott Blue rides in second, Nick Anatrello back there in third, Josh Sun rides fourth, fifth spot is Cody Blue, Blue now taking a fifth spot away, David Schilling rides in sixth, seventh spot Justin Combs, eighth spot Andrew Buff, ninth position is the number three car, the K3 of Danny Kronk, then we find Robert Bublack Jr. and the 21 of Gage rounding out your top 10. Checkers are out. Derek McGrew will pick up the win. Derek McGrew gets the victory in the 27. Coming up second will be the 14 of Scott Duell. Third position will be the nine of Nick Anatrello. Your fourth and final transfer position is the 11 of Josh Sun. And rounding out your top five is the 173 of Cody Blue. So that is your third and final qualifier. Derek McGrew picks up the win. He'll get the $100 from Next Generation Roofing and the trophy that goes along with it as a qualifying event winner. That is going to be Doug Flynn on the outside in the 73. That's going to be Kevin Chafee. Seventh, you'll find the 19X of Rob Lanfear, and on the outside will be the 30H of Jim Krause. He will start eighth. Starting ninth on the grid will be the 44 of Kenny Conroy. The 40 of Bob Schmidt will start next to him. The two of Mike Block and the 85 of Steve Att will round out your field here in this one. A few cars slated to go, but not making the call. Pete Jeske going to be one of those. Jack Gentile as well. And it looks like Justin Smith will also not make the call. Pearson going to fire off a turn number three and four. Green flag out on the speedway here. Each of these will be 10 laps the distance. Top two will qualify into the Northeast Great Nationals as they go up into turn number one and two. Down the back straightaway, it will be Adam Pearson with the race lead. And Jamike Soul going to move into spot number two. And he winds it up on the top side off a of turn number four. He'll drag race down the front straightaway. Adam Pearson going to have the advantage. But here comes Soul to the outside. Jamike Soul going to power it to the top. He'll lose his momentum off a of turn number two however and that's going to allow Pearson to get out front outright through turn number three and four they ride remember top two qualify in this event as Tim Hartman Jr. all over the back bumper of Jamike Soul. Jamike Soul no stranger to the top side here at the great race place with a couple of feature event victories as they head down the back straight away and into turn number three and four Right now, Hartman and Schaefer right on the back bumper, but Soul trying to mount a challenge for the race lead. Pearson on the inside, Soul on the top side, off a of turn number two, and Adam Pearson still holding on, but Jamike Soul looking to ride the momentum. They'll bring it through turn number three and four as four go in the books. Pearson, your leader, Soul second, Hartman third, Chris Schaefer fourth. Kevin Chafee sits fifth. Sixth is the three of Doug Flynn, seventh, Rob Lanfear, eighth. The 30 of Jim Krause, 9th Kenny Conroy, and Steve Apple will round out your top 10. Halfway sign out on the speedway. Side by side, they ride off the corner and at the line, Jamike Soul going to be your new race leader. Soul going to power to the top side off by turn number two. He'll take the lead out right now. Pearson sits in that final transfer position as they head down the back straightaway. 
Through turn number three and four they go now. Six will be completed. Four laps remaining here in this first consolation event as Jamike Soul looks to pull away as they head down the back straightaway. Half a straightaway advantage for your race leader. Tim Hartman Jr. trying to reel in the 15 of Pearson through turn number three and four. The defending champion of this event in danger of not making it in and possibly needing a provisional here to make this show tonight. Down the back straight away they go. It'll be the two to go sign here off by turn number three and four. Two to go sign out on the speedway for Soul. Hartman trying to reel in Pearson here. Time is ticking away in this one, folks. Down the back stretch goes the 1Z of Soul. He'll bring it through turn number three and four. White flag coming out on the speedway now. One lap to go. Pearson still holding on to second. Tim Hartman Jr.'s got him in his tracks up through turn number one and two. Meanwhile, out front, final time through turn number three and four. Jamike Soul will pick up the win in consolation number one. Second at the line is going to be Adam Pearson. Hartman will finish third. Schaefer fourth. And Kevin Chafee will round out your top five. So it will be Jamike Soul and Adam Pearson going to the show. Tim Hartman Jr. will have to wait and see if he gets a provisional here for tonight's Northeast Crate Nationals feature event. Constantino, and on the outside of him will be the 99 of Diana Hike. She'll start sixth. Seventh will be the 77 of Skip Shippey, and on the outside will be the 62 of Mike Ostrander. The 8 Vermont of Matt Atwood, the 06 of Mike Coffey, the Palmer Service Center 84 of Ricky Quick, the 1 of Scott Bennett Jr., and the 02 of Shannon Donnelly will round out your field. as now the field resets in its proper order. Green flag out on the speedway now as we go back to green flag racing here in consolation number two, up through turn number one and two as they make their way down the back straightaway. It will be Jason Gray with the race lead. Cars together up in between turn number one and two. That is the 99 of Diana Hike and the 02 of Shannon Donnelly and that will bring yellow out on the speedway. At this time, we are giving last call for tonight's Drivers Point Fund 50-50 raffle. Last call now for tonight's Drivers Point Fund 50-50 raffle. Greg and, Dealer, Greg and this De Lorenzo Law Firm, car number 7J of Dan Santa Barbara, are going to bring it down the front straightaway as they go up into turn number one and two. It will be great with the race lead once again. He'll pull out to about a five-car length advantage down the back straightaway. Here's Matt Hitchcock to the inside of Tyler Johnson for the number three spot as the power through turn number three and four. Hitchcock will slide up and take that spot away as now he's one spot out of a transfer position for tonight's Northeast Great National Championship event. Up through turn number two this time. Now Dave Constantino going to go to work on Tyler Johnson down the back straightaway for the number four spot. As Constantino now going to dive to the inside lane looking for a position. Up through turn number one and two they ride. Constantino will take the number four spot away here as they head down the back straightaway. So bring it through turn number four this time, and it will be three laps completed now as Jason Gray holds on. Gray, your race leader. Santa Barbara sits in second. Third, Matt Hitchcock. Fourth, Dave Constantino. And rounding out your top five is Tyler Johnson as they ride down the back stretch. Through turn number three and four they go. Santa Barbara going to try to mount a challenge here as we're just about at the halfway sign of this one. 
Down the back straight away they go here. Halfway sign his cars together in turn number two. Ricky Quick in the Palmer Service Center entry will bring out the caution flag here once again with four in the books. Quick got too low to the inside berm and when he tried to turn it around, he got turned around himself. White flag gonna come out on the speedway now. Six laps remaining here in this second of three consolations for the Clinch green flag going to go in the hand of Richie Peterson as they make their way down the back straightaway. The double zero of Jason Gray will bring it through turn number three and four. Green flag coming back out on the speedway here in this one as we're underway. Up through turn number one and two once again. Jason Gray going to have the race lead. Gabe Constantino working on Hitchcock for the number three spot. Skip Shippy takes the ride off the back straightaway as... Diana Hike going to go around. She'll get it rerouted as they come off by turn number four and reach the halfway point of this second consolation event. We're going to pop off at turn number two now. The double zero car of Jason Gray showing the way as they make their way down here. Good side-by-side -side battle back there for third spot as they make their way down across the line. Dan Santa Barbara rides in the runner-up position back there in third. That's Matt Hitchcock. Hitchcock right there off the back deck of Santa Barbara's machine. Don't forget that is the break for a qualifying position. Santa Barbara right now sits in the main event. Hitchcock one spot out. They make their way down here into turn number one. Up on the front, the double zero. Jason Gray continuing to show the way. Going to come to the two to go sign this time by. It'll be two laps remaining when the double zero hits the line. Eight laps are in and two laps remain here for Jason Gray. Dan Santa Barbara riding in second. Third spot, Matt Hitchcock as they make their way down the back straightaway. Tyler Johnson back there in fourth position. Rounding out your top five is the 79 of Dave Constantino. As the white flag is displayed this time by, final time down the back straightaway. The double zero in command, gonna work around Diana Hikes number 99 car. Here is Jason Gray, he'll bring him to checkers. Jason Gray picks up the win in the double zero. The seven of Dan Santa Barbara will come home in the second spot. Finishing in third position will be the 33 of Matt Hitchcock. Four spot goes to the five of Tyler Johnson, Dave Constantino with the 79, rounds out your top five. So Jason Gray picks up the win. Dan Santa Barbara comes home in the runner-up position. That is going to be consolation number two. Blue. Outside of him, the 1-800-GOT-JUNK sponsor number 20. That's David Schilling. Justin Combs with the 51 on the inside of row two. Andrew Buff with the 98 starts outside of him. The K3 of Danny Kronk will come from the inside of row number three. That's with the car number three, K3, as a matter of fact. Outside of him, it's Robert Bublack Jr. with the M&J Construction number 27. He starts in six, seventh spot, our opening night winner. That's Adam Gage with the 21. Outside of him, the veteran, the 352. Liberty Contracting sponsored entry of John Proctor. Then we find the five of Pat Jones. He's on the inside of row five, outside of Pat Jones. That is Jim Morgan's number 17. Joe Orlando's number 69. The seven of Ryan Stortini. And the 55 of Rich Ricky the third. That is your starting grid. As they make their way down here into turn number one, the 173 of Cody Blue going to work in the number one position. Blue, your leader. David Schilling rides in second. Justin Combs in third. Blue Black working up on the outside of Danny Kronk. That was the first side-by-side -side battle. Blue Black taking position number five away from Kronk. Kronk back to six now. Down into turn number three, up on the front, the 173, Cody Blue in control. 
bringing him down across the line here into turn number one, the 20 of David Schilling riding in the runner-up position. Then it's the 51 of Justin Combs, the 98 of Andrew Buff, the 27 of Robert Bublack Jr. is Bublack closing in on the Buff machine. Going to try and make his way up into fourth position, but that will still going to leave him a couple spots short of a transfer. Up front, they are ready to duke this one out on the point as they work their way down off of turn number four, David Schilling. Right off the back bumper of Cody Blue. Cody Blue, your leader, David Schilling, right there off the back bumper. He has closed the gap to about a foot down on the back straightaway. Going to come to the halfway sign this time by. It'll be five in and five remain for the 173 of Cody Blue. Blue, your leader, Schilling rides second, combs a distant third. Here's David Schilling taking a look down to the inside of Cody Blue. Cody Blue going to shut the door that time in turn number three. Schilling not going to go away, however, as they make their way down here into turn number one. Up on the front, Blue in control, but Schilling hounding him once again off the backstretch. David Schilling in the 1-800 God Chunk sponsored entry right there on the back bumper of Cody Blue. That's the race for the top spot. Both of these cars are in transfer positions at this time. No conservative line here by Schilling. He's going to turn the heat up once again on Cody Blue. Blue going to slip off the groove here in turn number four, and David Schilling will lead him down to the two-to-go sign. Schilling goes to the point. Blue backslides the second, and Schilling now quickly putting distance between himself and Cody Blue. Side-by-side -side battle back there for third is Andrew Buff. Working the inside line on Justin Combs as the white flag is out. Robert Bublack rounding out your top five. Down the back straight away for the final time. The number 20 of David Schilling looking to bring this one home. Checkered flag is in the air. Consolation number three will go to the 20 of David Schilling. Coming home second to be the 173 of Cody Blue. Third spot goes to Adam Gate. Excuse me, the 98 of Adam Buff. Andrew Buff, the 98, will come across the line third. The 51 of Justin Combs and the 27 of Robert Bublack Jr. round out your top five. That is the way your top five finish here in this final consolation event. With that, the field is set.